Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. Today, well, I did actually find the stuff I was looking for in the Meteor. It took ages. And I've also got a few other things I've discovered on the way. Well, I knew some already. So what I'm going to do, first of all, let's have a look at what the two things I want to show you. Let's start with those, shall we? And then let's have a look at the these. So what I've got here is my smeltery, yeah? And inside my smeltery, I've got to have a look at the inside of it, of course, we need to look at that. I've got 25 blocks of molten alley, uh, obsidian. And here I've got a portable tank. And I can right click this portable tank here. Uh, just force it, and that'll then feed into this portable tank. So with a bit of luck, after a short period of time, we should end up with no. It's going down reasonably quickly, I think, about uh, obsidian. Well, it doesn't matter. What we can show you is this. You can also put a faucet onto this portable tank, like that. And in front of that faucet, you can put a casting table. And in your casting table, let's take this one here, because that's what I want to actually make. A, a cast, like that. And you can right-click the faucet. And that's a really good way of actually being able to produce stuff. The reason for it is you can, it's easy enough to, to remove m materials out of the smeltery that don't you don't want, for example, tin and copper. You don't want those mixing unless you want bronze. So that's a pretty good way of doing it. And then you can keep the molten. So in here, for example, I've got other materials. Now, I know this is molten gold. And this one here is probably blood. In 1710, these were actually nice and colourful, but in this one they're a bit grey. I think that's probably fixed that over time. So let's have a look at what we've got in my hand here. This should be blood. Yes, it is. Now, hopefully you all know how to get blood. All you have to do is to take some rotting flesh, like that. I've got two stacks. Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. And I can put those in the hopper here. Oh, in that chest. They'll come through the hopper here. And then they'll end up in here as blood. And as you can see, that is smelting very fast indeed. How are we doing for the obsidian? Three blocks left. And there we have our faceplate. And we can put the faceplate in here with the other ones. And here I've got some pig iron ingots. Now, that's actually one of the recipes for blood. It was Philippi that was having a problem with this. It's actually dead easy. So it's just one emerald. I just got two. Let's just try that again. I should probably use another tool for that. And three iron. Oops, that was not the best thing to do, was it? To that. One, two, three. And then if we put those into, say, this hopper here, we should have enough to make a reasonable amount of pig iron. 640 million buckets of blood from two stacks of uh, rotting flesh. The reason we're using rotting flesh is because it, it's in abundance. I probably haven't emptied this thing out for ages. Yeah, as I thought. And I'm picking up stuff because it's here. Let's see what I can get rid of easily. Yeah, I'll have to leave that. I'll have to find a better way of dealing with this. There's too much. I can't cope with all this product, as it were. Well, throw those into there and then come into here. Actually, <clears throat> next thing I want to look at is this, the indexer. I was having problems with the mod stuff, wasn't I? Well, it's different. If you go into JEI, for example, here and look for th uh, um, thermal stuff, thermal expansion, you can see you find all these items. But with the indexer, what you have to do is to remove. I want to come back to this. I can't click anywhere. And you see what you've got for thermal expansion. Uh, or thermal fan to thermal expansion, yes. So that's how you do it. Gave me ages of trouble doing that, didn't it? So let's just shove anyway. Let's just shove the stuff that I don't want with me into there. That'll do fine. 
I want to build this hammer. This hammer is actually pretty fast. It's a uh, what have we got for that? What does it tell us about it? Shift for stats. Huh? So it's got a, a mining speed of 11.46. Tack damage doesn't really matter. And durability is 1033. But what's nice about this, we're going to have a look at that next. So I think. That's roughly what I wanted to show. Let's have a see if that that emerald smelted down. It takes quite a long time to do emeralds actually. There you go. So I've got still some more blood here and I've got uh, one block of molten pig iron. So that's how you make it the easiest way I found anyway. And what I want to do with the blood I can take remove it. So for example now this is all f emptied out of obsidian. Let's put this out over here. Come over here and I think blood is in this one. It's a real shame they haven't got colours because they're a hell of a lot easier to see. Have we got no shift for details blood? Okay. So you, all you need to do now is put this one down here. Like that. And then just make sure that blood's at the bottom of the of the list here, which it is. And then we can right click this. Top. And that then puts blood into here. Now, in the old version of Tinker's Contract, you could put fluids back into the smelter. I'm not sure exactly how to do that in this particular mod pack. But that should have removed all the blood from here, so all we now have is molten pig iron, one block. So we can right click this one, and we get out of there from our one emerald and three ingots of iron, nine. Big iron ingots, which is a reasonably good exchange, isn't it? It takes a while to set this, as long as 55%. So, okay, so while it's doing its business, it'll, it'll set. Now, come into here as a lock of big iron. I shall go and visit the meteor, and I will see you there. Right, I am just now approaching my platform. In fact, I actually teleported here. Well, so, because it takes, it takes quite a long time to fly, and I've already got it, so I don't think there's any problem with this. So as you can see, I've got some chests marked out. We'll have a look at those in a minute. And I've also got some more chests over here. There's two. Was it night time? Maybe I have to go and have a quick snooze. Yes, it's night time. Let's go and have a quick sleep. I wanted to show something else as well, so let's just do that first. Get them all in a hand. Have to look at these chests, didn't we? Oh, no, didn't miss him. I thought I would do. Now, are there only about there's one over there? There's one right over there. Let's wait for him to come a bit nearer. Oops, missed him. Didn't that time though. And there's a couple down here. I don't, doesn't matter, let's have a look at this chest. There no, there's nobody too near now. So we get one inscribe a calculation press. So fluid, it's crystals, and some seeds. Nice, huh? So let's take a, let's take a better so what I've got in my bag, I said pick it, I have got a hatchet here, cactus hat hatchet, my first one. Remove that, let's have a look at the next one. I should really have warned you the spoilers in this particular episode, isn't there? So you get an engineering processor, what's that one? A redstone card, 1k storage component and another quartz pickaxe. Not unduly exciting those, but better than nothing. So now, let's have a look at this thing. As you can see, I've been digging away at this thing like crazy. Oh, the spider, let's just sort him out. And I'll show you how I've been doing it. Let's go and do that first. And then we'll look at the chests, and just keep you in suspense a little bit, huh? 
So what I've been doing is I've been taking my pickaxe, this hammer, it's a paper iron hammer, and I'll tell you what it's made of in a minute, and I've been just say bashing away at these, so let's say take this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do it fast. As you can see, what I've got is a copper handle, so you can see lots of XP. As you can see, my XP levels are already 69, and that's from just from doing this. So I think I need to do this. And it's also got an iron head, which makes it magnetic. And magnetic means it basically pulls the stuff towards you. But with the hammer, it makes no difference. What I want to do is I want to wear this out. And you'll see why in a minute. Probably that's enough. Let's go down this backwards down here. It takes a few seconds to do this. Maybe I should cut it. Huh? It's a nice tool anyway, so let's have a look. As you can see, you're getting through a lot of skystone. And I'll show you what I've been doing with the skystone when we get back to base. We'll do that next, I think, after this one. Well, maybe we do it at the very end. I want this pickaxe to actually break. They've already, I'm full already, my inventory's already full. Let's just get rid of these. If I send these back, let's send all of these back as well. If you've seen what I've got. So we don't need these for the time being. What in flash we don't need to put the clock down here so we can see what time it is. And carry on. I'll tell you what I'll do. I shall carry on this and break until the hammer's broken. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Well, the hammer's just about to break. I reckon I can look at the thing. So a quick look at what it's just what it's got there. Nineteen. So that's about two or three rows. There it goes. So now it's broken. Yeah. So let's go up to the um, up here. It's also started a storm. Doesn't really matter that much. Now, how much iron do you think this is going to need to repair? Normally, the cost of a, of a hammer is eight ingots of iron to repair this. Got 24 in there at the moment, so we expect that to go down by to 16. Yep, yeah? two. And normally, actually, it's used as one. So there you are. So that's that trick. So let's go down and have a look at this chest. So here we've got the inscriber silicon press, some dense cable, some covered cable, and some glass. It's great. Let's actually, let's actually remove that now. I just put in there. Want the food, don't I? Possibly. Wrong one. I want the hatchet. Go look at the next one. We've got the Inscriber Logic Press. This so we've got ME storage cable cell, 64K, nice. A 68 spatial cell and the printed circuits for engineering circuits. That's a diamond one, that's also good. And we've got this one as well. We didn't take away the torches. So we've got the last of the impresses, the engineering press and an ME drive. So let's just take that away. Did I remove these, I'll start remove these torches? Never know, might need a torch too. Not that I've got plenty of them. Right, that's it. Now, the next place I'm going to visit is the tech city. Oh, I think it's more, more like really the academic city. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Bye for now. Well, here you are. As you see, I'm now approaching the Tech City in the morning as it happens. 
Oh, that looks as so though that is a doom like dungeon down there. Should we have a quick look? It in indeed is. Look, some, some ladders going down, very deep. Lots of mobs down there. I'm not going to do that one. There's actually, the rewards aren't that great. Things like chickens and stuff like that. I don't really need any more roast chicken. I'm just too far out of range, okay. But this is the city. It's actually rather cool. Look at this. So you've got chests inside it. Spawners, of course. Let's just make sure that we can actually get to that one. And of course, what I normally do with these, you've got two skelly spawners in there. What have we got down here? Some apartment looking things, and there's a spawner on here. Let's just deal with the spawner first of all. I think it is. There's two spawners in here. Let's just take this pickaxe. That's my iron pickaxe with things, as you can see. Oh. Blazes. And there's the thing, let's just right click that with a drop of evil. Is there another one in there or is that just the only one? But I have no real intention of doing this particular place. Open this chest. Oh look. Let's get some quite decent rewards in here. So an advanced card and some optical sensor from advanced rocketry. And then you have here as a an elevator. A white elevator, which we can actually take out. But I know there's another mob down there below it. Let's just take that out. Where has it gone to there? There we are. Got number three. Press that. Right click that. And reach. Yeah. So that should deal with that one, no problem. And then we just go through the floor like this. Nice good noise actually. What are these laboratory blocks? Okay. Another spelly spawn. Uh, a zombie spawn. Let's get this one. It's a bit easy with this, isn't it? Now that you can't open, we'll have to break this open. And nothing in that chest. Okay, and that's the doorway. Now I've actually got a full inventory and there's a skeleton. I'll sort him out quick. He didn't see me. So, as I said, I shall do that and let you do it yourselves, have some fun. And in the meantime, I'm going to just empty this inventory out and then disappear off to the next, to the next city. I found two cities, there's another one to find, I haven't found that one yet. So I'll see you shortly. Well, I'm nearly there and you'll see this place is actually awesome. Look at this. Islands in the sky. What have we got here? Trees. In a glass in a glass sphere, isn't that cool? And what have we got below that? Some palm harvester crops. Yes, we have some tall grass and some flowers. Here we got some slime plant. That uh, slime trees. All three types, I think. I have to find a good way to harvest those. Do some research on that. What have we got down here? Sugar cane and cactus. This one here. Trees, pumpkins, and melons. What have we got over here? Cows. Ooh, horses, donkeys, pigs, and as you can see, chickens. As a compressed chicken there. They can't get out. You can't get in either. I think it's pretty, I'm not sure exactly how you get in. Probably break the, ga the glass. What have we got down here? A sphere with mushrooms in it. Plenty of mushrooms in there. Another way to find your mushrooms, Mac. How about this place here? All sorts of palms, but water lilies. All sorts of palms harvest craft plants. And this thing. What about this thing? It is a spawner. And what's it got inside it? You can't see it from here. You have to wait for it to spawn. You have to wait a second. Come on, spawn. There you go. How about those? Was that four guardians that came out of that? 
unfortunately they can't attack us isn't that amazing what else have we got down here not more trees probably different types of trees as it happens and actually have these are actually spawners and they're funny as well you get anywhere near them they start to go crazy how many have they got there nine and they're actually they're underneath these things i've actually left one so you can see what happens when you get near it i think it's actually this one i've left oh but it's no it's, here you go it's probably this one yeah no torches down there yet just on the very outside of it okay they might wait oh they've been they've been they've been dying haven't they you get dot zombies and skeletons so the whole works but they usually spawn in hundreds so let's get that out right don't want him. I don't care about that. Iron armor. Chanted iron armor. Standard. So that's that. Oops. Yeah, what I said. Oh, I'll probably be very careful here. What's wrong with my thing? Let's get out of the way. <laughs> mm hmm. I think I'm just out of range for them. Why can't it? Why is it not shooting at they? Hmm. Now that's interesting. I've not seen that before. Actually, shoot from the wrong one, is it? Hmm. I maybe I've got a shift press or something funny. No. Control. Alt. No. All right. I'll have to go and figure out what's going wrong there. Anyway, I've got a. I need to have got a bow. So it's time to go back home. And so I shall see you when I get home. Well, as you can see, I'm just driving back home. And things are looking good. It's just coming up to night time. So let's have a quick look. I think we've got everything. And I think it'll all be in the indexer. So let's have a quick trot down to that. Like that. What I did here is I was getting a lot of... Um, Skystone wasn't I? I was harvesting a ton of that actually, but I haven't got any in here. It's all I've moved it all out, and how I've moved it out is actually slightly, in, slightly interesting. What I've got here is a storage drawer with. So look what it's got in it. I need an empty hand to do that. Don't I? Let's just right click it. So I've got four storage upgrades, uh, emerald ones. So I've got fourteen times. So I've also got thirty-eight thousand in here at the moment, which is quite a lot of. 599 stacks of skystone but to get it in as you saw i've got a retrieval node here and in this retrieval node i put a stack upgrade it uses 5gp but we have plenty so that, what that does is it'll pull out of all of these chests are all connected skystone so you will not find any more skystone in any of these chests but as you can see what we've picked up here, obviously Skystone came in here and it's been taken out, which is really good. So we've now got our four, in, our four plates. I think there should be two in there because that's only a partial chest and the other two should be in here. Like that. We've got another ME drive. And we've got some, what's that one, input hatch. Oh, actually, I got that from the city, um, from the meteor. I think that was in the middle of that. But what I got from the meteor, I didn't show you last time. That's actually in here. So all of this stuff here, I got from the meteor. And all of this stuff, as you can see, I just picked up. I'll move that one, put that tiny TNT out of the way. So that's quite impressive, isn't it? I've actually got four ME drives. Acceleration cards. I got some dark illuminated panels and some illuminated panels. And these special pylons. A cell workbench, ME controller, uh, there's loads. Basically, we've got a reasonable amount. Saves a lot of crafting. And this is the stuff I made before, so. From other bits and pieces. So, I think. Let's have a look. I think that's it for this episode. So, I hope you've really enjoyed this episode. It's been interesting. It's took absolutely ages to get to mine that um oh i didn't show you did i the hammer let's have a look at that first of all this hammer here let's have a look at the stats on that hammer so if i look here on that i'm going to press which one stat shift for stats 
Okay, that's stats and control gives you the uh, the items. So I've got a, a copper tool, tough tool rod, which basically gives you XP as your mine. So the head is iron, and the two plates were both paper, which gave me extra upgrades on it. And then I added to that, uh, I think, two more modifiers, three more modifiers. And the modifiers were, di I added diamond, lot, all of the redstone I could do, and one emerald. That basically, the emerald increased the um, the durability by about 50% or something like that. And the diamond made it from being iron to being obsidian. So I could mine obsidian fairly quickly. And the, re and the redstone make it go fast. That was basically it. So, I'm going to say goodbye. And I'll see you next time. I suppose it's supposed to be a wave, isn't it? <laughs> Do you want to see that again? <laughs> okay, bye for now.